am going to show you a quick video on how to change the bearing in your bucket wheel. Um, I think Carolina Storm is still shipping with extra bearings. Um, honestly, it's just as easy to replace the whole wheel, but if you want to use up extra bearings or if you can't wait, if it's squeaking and it's in your bedroom, it's quick and easy to do. The first thing you want to do is take the wheel off. And you just need side cutters, scissors. These are the easiest to use. If you can get scissors down in here, that's fine too. It's kind of fiddly. Probably should have done this before. You can get I'll talk while I'm doing this. You can get bearings and you can get wheels on Amazon for fairly cheap. Um, they're easy to find. Entire wheels cost probably a little less than bearings, and you don't have to worry about fiddling with the whole thing. And then the whole wheel here just pops off. Now, if you're like me and you're impatient and you haven't been careful about what you do when you wash your wheel, you've gotten water in here. So it's rusted. Um, I have had really good luck with melting Vaseline down in here and wiping and melt it with a hair dryer and then wiping off the excess. It's Mostly non-toxic, especially if you get as much as possible off so that your hedgehog or other small animal is not actually getting to it. It's not going to hurt them. And it will extend the life of your wheel. This one is almost two years old and it's, it could keep going, but I decided to make this video, so... Time to replace it. It's so goopy in there. It's gross. It needs to be replaced. It gets gunky in there and there's no way to clean it in there. So then these just, you have, to, you have to kind of stuff one of these down in here. It's just as easy to do it from the other side. Pull these out from this side. Let's see those in there. Um, pull those out. You can do it. Alright, and then we'll just throw away those because they really can't be re reused. Okay. To replace the bearings, if you've never rollerbladed or roller skated before, you'll need something like this. This is just a, a file of. Um, Screwdriver works fine. You just stick this down in here. Let me this off the bucket so I can get some leverage. Can I see that okay? Maybe. Then pop. See, it takes a little bit of leverage, but it just pops out. Yep, this one too. So you, so you stick the screwdriver or whatever your tool is down in the middle. Put one hand on, on the side opposite of your fulcrum here. Push down and pull up. And it just pops out just like that. And these, you can clean them. You can buy kits to clean them. Um, I think rollerbladers and roller skaters usually clean theirs. I'm throwing mine away. So now we have new ones. Mr. Quill is going to be so happy. He is going to have a nice quiet wheel. And these, I don't know, I'll probably have back in the front. I don't actually think to do. They just sit down in the middle and you take your hand, heel of your hand. You could probably use, if you were really careful, a, um, a hammer if you wanted to. But they just mm -hmm. squish down in the middle. Squish. And then you have your bearing again. 
Let's see, I think you could probably, if you wanted to, you could probably get away with only putting one bearing in these. Since you're not, you know, this is not weight bearing I don't know, as a person. Right down in the middle. Make sure it spins. Turn, turn, turn. Now we're going to line, line it back up just like that. And put our zip ties back on. And that's kind of fiddly. I won't video all that. And have faith that you can figure out the zip ties on your own. And that's all there is to it. That's all there is to replacing the bearings in roller leg wheels. You can do that. You can buy new wheels. I have new ones over here that I think probably actually fit the holes just fine too. Yep, these fit the holes just fine. So, either way. I hope that helps. Oh, sorry. Hope that helps. And if you have any questions, let me know.